Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hi, I'm Tiffany Satchel. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. This is my um, my 11-11 coach group. And um, it's about to get interesting because I'm going to do my best to come on live as often as I possibly can. And um, um, so I'm just going to tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Tiffany Satchel. And I'm headed out to work right now, but I'm going to try to keep this really, really quick. I'm going to try to keep this under five minutes. I just want to ask you a, a quick question. But um, first, let me tell you a little bit about myself. Um, okay, I'm a part-time cook at a, at a boys group home in, um, in the village, New York. Okay, I just currently um, completed a life coaching course with Valerie Love at Destiny Life Coaching Academy. And I'm in the process of completing a course with Doreen Virtue at for um in her Earth Angel Realms course. Okay. And um I have an 18-year-old son, and we currently have teamed up together in this wonderful, wonderful company called Wakaya Perfections that just launched. So um, well, you know, that's that's something that we're doing, okay? So enough of that. Let me just get back to the question, all right? Enough about me. I'll just get back to the question. Um, okay, so now here's my question. What is the difference between someone who is naturally good at something and someone who has learned to the point of unconscious competence? Hmm? Okay? So now before we get into that, I'd like to tell you a story, okay? I have this friend named George. Okay, and he's my pen pal. He sends me emails all the time with little golden, golden nuggets and, um, and like, you know, great, great, great advice. Okay, and um, I just want to tell you about this story that he told, that he told me. Okay, um, he told me about this concept called the lay down. Okay, and he likened it unto a unicorn, meaning that it's something unbelievable or something um, even miraculous even. Okay, he described what he called a lay down in these scenarios. He said that every once in a while, a salesman would get a lay down or an easy sell. Once in a while, a salesman would experience effortless selling that looked something like this. A person would come to the salesman. A salesman would ask the person what it is that they would like or what it is that they need. The person would tell the salesman exactly what it is that they wanted or needed. The salesman would show the person the product. And then the person would say, okay, how do I pay? Cash or credit, okay? All right, so that's the that, that's the situation of a lay down, something that's like an easy sell. You just, you just tell them, you know, the customer tells you what you want, you show it to them, they just pay, all right? So he also described um, how, this, how, how this occurs in a passionate and loving relationships as well. Um, he talked about how there's no awkwardness and um, there's no nervousness when you when you when, when you when you meet someone and you click when you two just click. There's no nervousness, there's no awkwardness, and um, um, sometimes more than often than we like, I'm sure we just don't connect with certain people. We notice that we just don't connect with certain people, and for some people, it's no sweat. It's like everywhere they go. Lay down after lay down after lay down. People just gravitate to them. They are like magnets to people of their same interests. They have no problems finding relationships or partners while some of us struggle. Now, before I could even finish asking and thought why as I read his email, he asked the question he he asked the question for me. What do these naturals know? that the rest of us don't. If you ask them directly, most of them wouldn't even be able to explain it to you anyway. If they are naturals, they were never taught. They just have that charismatic spoken spirit of that, that charismatic spirit spoken of in um, The Art of Seduction by Robert Greene. This trait puts those around this type of person at ease, comfortable, and unsuspecting. And they accomplish this simply and purely. That's why they can't explain it. No one taught them. So we shouldn't get frustrated 
when we go to them for advice on how to develop this trait and we get answers like it's easy or just relax or be yourself. It comes to them simply and purely. It comes to them naturally. They can't explain it. Just like in sports, there are some players who are phenomenal and rarely have to practice. And then you have those players who practice hard daily just to keep up with them. <laughs> the laws of the universe apply to us all the same way. So with enough practice, we can certainly attain that which we desire to accomplish or something even better if our intentions are not in alignment. So now to answer the question from earlier. What is the difference between someone who is naturally good at something and someone who has learned to the point of unconscious competence? Absolutely nothing. Both of them will act and get results intuitively and instinctively without even thinking about it. Please check out my website, www.tiffanysatchel.com. And for those aspiring marketeers out there, like me, please visit um, www.myparadise.info um, for a wonderful business opportunity. And um, you can also follow me on uh, YouTube at um, tiffanysatchel.online. Okay? All right. Thank you so much. And I hope that you guys have a, please have a wonderfully squared day today. All right? We'll be seeing each other soon.